guys welcome to my channel here's a great tip for you well I've seen this of somebody else and I tried it and oh my god I just had to share this with you best thing I ever tried so keep on watching all you need is clean film and oven spray I heard you can use any oven cleaner spray it on nicely and then use um, rubbish bags or clean film in my case because I have no rubbish bags so I used clean film to wrap it overnight and that I suppose left the moisture on and I have to say the next day no scrubbing well I did use a Brillo pad but only literally just to make sure that stuff comes off you know yourself but I have to say it saved me so much time didn't spend time whatsoever on it but I also ran out of me oven spray cleaner which was a bad just bad 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 but um I end up using one of the what you call them cream cleaners kitchen clean yeah it's elbow grease which is very good I still wrapped it up and it kept the moisture overnight so it still worked so eat whatever you have, doesn't have to be expensive oven cleaner. Once you just spray it on, leave it overnight, wake up in the morning, give it a little wipe, rinse it nicely, and put out your stuff on brand new oven. I couldn't believe how, because I, I noticed that a lot on my uh, door glass. I used to always scrub it, but honestly, all I had to do is properly wipe it. I scrubbed a little bit with Brillo pads, just, you know, love it. So, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll try this too because honestly it's it will save your life save some time for sure a brilliant idea I've seen it one different but love it great idea so I'll look at the result and if any of you did try this or do end up trying this Leave a comment down below, let me know how it turned out for you. Honestly, you won't regret it. No matter how dirty your oven is, just do this. Oh my god, if only, I believe, I'd say oven cleaner should work better because it gives more moisture rather than the cream. It wasn't as much, but it still worked. I mean, considering my oven is over 10 years old, looks pretty brand new. Look at these shelves. Uh, wire shelves forever. How oh, dirty. Well, this one's more yellow, but good became off the next day. You'll have a look. You'll see. You'll see. Very impressed. Oh, I ended up using a bin bag to keep these racks in there to keep the moisture in, I guess. Well, honestly, it took me such little time to do this. As you can see, all I do is just, just spread it out evenly, put it in the bag. Ready to go. Audio so here we are to the next day. Look at this. Oh yeah, and the top, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I just, this clean film wasn't sticking to it, so I just used one of the bin bags and I just threw it in there. It worked anyways. But you could see it still, it literally comes off so easily, guys. And then I just decided to use one Brillo pod. I literally used that one Brillo pod, pod Brillo pad <laughs> all over the grill and the oven. And I don't clean my oven that often. I might give it a wipe now and again, but I wouldn't proper clean it. So it did need a good, good clean. And honestly, all I did was just wipe it, rinse it out nicely, and it was sparkling. Even the glass. Oh my God! Look at that! Look at the transformation for real. I'm impressed. I have to say, I definitely recommend this for everybody. I'm sure you can use. There's people that use baking soda. I'm sure you can use the same thing, but just wrap it up just so you can keep that 
nice. Look at that, moisture. Look at the difference. And I didn't even do any scrubbing. Not at all. And here's the and that glass was the worst, I have to say, but it came out so easy, it's, it's literally spotless. Look, that's all I did. I, did, I wasn't even scrubbing, I was just like, wipe it over, really. Well, I mean, thriller pad, you know? And now that's it, don't, don't. Look how you, you can actually see through the glass, oh my god. I do have another problem though. This is a double glass oven and I can't seem to take it apart to be able to clean in between. So I have to figure something out there. How to clean the inside somehow. Make it nice and shiny. Like honestly, I did not scrub this. All I had to do is basically wipe it down. Oh, um, so elbow grease worked for me, or um, it's like the sip cream thing. Look, honestly, it's like a brand new oven. And I'm telling you, this is way over 10 years old, maybe 12, maybe even 14. I don't know. And then I just went with the same tracks, gave them just a little. You know, for the sakes, scrub down, I guess. And I rinse that and you're above. So I hope you do like this tip. Save my life, honestly. I'm gonna be doing this at least once a month. <laughs> once a month is fine for me. I have to do more sure for now. Like these racks, especially from the oven, they actually look like they were um, rusty and stuff, but most of the stuff came out. Most. Not all of it, but most. Of it. But that's because I didn't take care of them to begin with, you know, that they were going to be so bad. Well, I do hope you tried to do this to your oven, and if you do, like I said, comment down below just so let me know what do you think about it. I'm, I'm telling you, you're gonna be so impressed. Impressed. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.